Hey guys, Valerion here, and this is going to be a very different video. Like, I know this, I know this title is misleading, but whatever. But like, this ignore the deck name, but like, oh, shh, whatever. Uh, uh, oh, right. Uh. Whatever, whatever. This video, we're actually going to talk about some broken anime shit. Yeah, we're just going to talk about some broken anime shit, and let's start. Time fusion, summon any mod, summon like a fusion monster. From your extra that was destroyed on your field this turn, there are fusions that can pop themselves, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm pretty sure they're like... There might be fusions that like pop themselves or something that you can use this to get back. Yeah. And also, it's it also literally one of its own. It's also, summon it during your next standby phase. Uh. But yeah, I'm not really sure how this would work. So yeah, it's probably broken in some way, but I really can't tell you how. Because you don't get the fusion until your next standby phase, and your opponent could just kill you during that time. Whatever, rather broken guard. Next. Blasting Vein. Destroy a special strike card you control, draw two cards. Really now? Can you imagine this card in Eldritch? That can you imagine the spell in? Imagine like you set one of these, destroy it, and then you draw two. Or you destroy this, or this, or this. Yeah. How about we don't have this? How about this is stupidly overpowered? <laughs> yeah. Bash response from your graveyard, draw two cards. Okay. It's draw power for Sky Strikers. Can you imagine this card in like Sky Strikers? You banish three spells from your graveyard, you need three spells from your graveyard to activate any of your Sky Striker cards that have other effect anyway, so you just banish three the other three spells and then you draw two off of it, so no. This this card should like whatever whatever, whatever. You'll get it. Uh, knee belongs. Activate one knee belongs from your back to your opponent's side of the field. Equipping it to a monster they control. Oh, okay. Uh, your opponent has to control a monster, or else you can't activate this card, so you can't activate this monster for a turn. Then, draw five cards. You just had to break this card, didn't you, anime? You, you just had to fucking break this card. You just had to break this card. Next. Quick rush, draw one card, level four lower monsters can attack during the first turn. So, wanna wanna get FTK? Yeah, yeah, I don't think we want to get FTK. <laughs> draw bird, declare a card name. Your opponent draws a card and reveals it. If it's the declared card, your opponent must return all cards from their fan or their side and their side of the field into the deck. Really now? <laughs> oh boy. Ryoku. Target one face up monster you control. Have your opponent's life points, and that's why it's broken. Next. Well, you have two or low, two level four or lower hero monsters in your graveyard. Draw three cards. <laughs> but this only gets one hero to your graveyard. And it may not be level 4 or lower. Yes, but this leads it to other plays like Resolve and shit like that. Which gets you to two of them in the graveyard, allowing you to draw three off of this. So, yeah, this is dumb. Ask Ball for Reject to him. Need no say else. Now, some of these are all spells. You're going to have spells, traps, and monsters. That's how I'm going to do this. Find all the broken spells. Uh, and there are tons of broken monsters too, but I'm going to choose the broken spells for now. So there's more of them. 
Also, might as well just throw these in there. This will affect what I talk about next. Just might as well throw those in there. Next is Spellbook and Find the Buck. Both players draw three cards. Oh, no, self explanatory. Both players draw three cards to discard two cards. Self explanatory. Add this card in any number of cards to your hand and shuffle it, then draw the same number of cards you added to your to the deck. Self explanatory. Out of green, self explanatory. This. Oof. This is literally just an FTK card. If you know what you're, if you play the perfect, the correct deck with this, like Berserk Mode is literally just an FTK. That's all it is. FTK. If you have Ib. If you have Nightmare Ibly. If you have Nightmare Ibly, this card is an FTK. So no. If this card is sent from your hand to the graveyard, draw two cards. Really now. No! <laughs> Draw three cards to send your entire deck to the graveyard. No. Take 200 damage to your opponent for each insect type monster in your graveyard. Now, you might be confused as to why I put this on here as like a broken anime card. But then you realize that this isn't once per turn. And you would use this in the exact same way that you would use something like, um... You would use this in the exact same way that you would use this. Same way you would use Magical Explosion. He said, Insects might be a little bit harder, but Magical Explosion as cards should not be... Should not be in the real life game anyway, so yeah. I could justify it. XC's treasure ticket. Target one length four or lower monster. You could pick C's monster you could draw. Draw cards equal to its rank. One card exceeds, everybody. One card exceeds. No. Each player draw. Each player draws until they have six in your hand. Oh yes, this might as well read. Set four. Draw six cards. Your opponent draws one card. That's all this says. Roll a six-sided draw. Draw an equal number of cards to the. Then send an equal number of cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard. Let me just pull this up again real quick. Yeah, fuck no. Draw until you have five in your So set four, activate this, draw five. During your fifth standby phase, doesn't matter. Never gonna happen. Next. Pay a thousand life points, special summon two fish spawn tokens. It's just token spam. Next. This. And choose any number of X number months and over XYZ monster in your extra deck and exceed some one number XYZ monster from your extra deck with the same name the same number in its name as the total X number of So if you wanted to summon this, you would use a 44 and another 44. So it's 44, 44 is 48, and this is number 88, give it a copy of Leo. That's how that works. And and yeah, if you teach hash and season series by its own effect and you win the duel. We're gonna get out we're gonna get into this a little bit later. This Galaxy Journey. This turn. This this turn. Each turn exactly one monster you control is banished. Special summon that monster. Oh no, you have to have a tutor to resolve this. Christian Hockey Fibrax is a card. Christian Hockey Fibrax is a card. <laughs> so no. This token spam, token spam, token spam. Saruja. Finally. Yay, not token spam. Flower gathering. Now, you might see this and think 
Uh, special summon four flower cardio monsters with 100 attack from your deck in attack position, but they cannot be used as fusion, synchro, or XYZ material for a summon. Also, they cannot be tributed except by a flower cardio monster deck. You might see this and think, hey, this isn't really broken. You have to dedicate four monsters to it, so it really isn't broken. Until you realize that you could use this, you could use those monsters as link material. You could use them as link material for link summoning. Do you really think of one cartridge to spray out of so you it for free? We'll get into that into that later on why that's stupidly broken, but and that card just so happens to be stupidly broken for another reason, but just free star usually is just not fun. How do you know is the map? Add one monster with zero protect and protect your hand. And if you summon it this turn, have your life points. You're not summoning it that turn. You're adding a hand trap. Whether if it's a real life hand trap or, or an anime hand trap. Because yes, the anime does have good hand traps. So yeah, you're adding a hand trap with this. Or you're adding an or you're adding a starter, no summoning it. And oh no, you have your life points, but you also started your combo. <laughs> so yeah, no. This target up the two machines of warriors in your graveyard. Special summon them in their attack and their attack is an attack musician and have their original attack. Oh no. Also, they can't be attacked. Also, they cannot attack or be tributed for a tribute summon this turn. Oh, no. Can you imagine how good Firax combos with this? Like, can you imagine, like, Jet Synchron into, into, like, the Link Creepo, into the into summoning it back, into the Hulk of Firax, into the, into the thing, into the thing, into the Link Cross, into... Like this, this would be ridiculous in that. <laughs> this would be ridiculous in those needle fiber combos that we're so used to seeing nowadays. So yeah, no. Target one card in your opponent's graveyard that was set there in the field this turn, or by battle, or sent to the from the field by a card they own, or by battle apply one of these effects. This card, basically, what this is. Is like instead of adding a card for your opponent's graveyard to your hand, this allows you to basically steal that monster and just use it for yourself. You can't take hand traps with it, but you can take anything else. So, yeah. This summon any number of monsters from your graveyard and face up attack position, doesn't matter. And they're a zombie, doesn't matter. And defense zero, doesn't matter. Yeah, this is just a free soul charge. If a monster you control whose original type is not zombie is destroyed by battle with a great expression, summon it in face of attack position as a zombie monster with defense zero, and it can increase and increase its blank by 10%. That blank is attack, by the way. This card remains on the field after being activated. Cool, so you can bounce it back to your hand whenever you want, you can just proc it again. Also, that 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 that, that second effect is not a downside, it's an upside, if anything. So yeah, this thing is stupid. This social summon any number of plant tokens. Plant type earth one attack attack eight defense five hundred doesn't matter. Though it is nice that they're plant monsters, meaning you can use them for like jasmine, oh, Romaserfi jasmine or some shit. <laughs> You can probably do something with that. You can probably do something broken with that. Equal to the number of cards you added from your deck to your hand this turn. You know how much searching goes on in Yu-Gi-Oh nowadays? Do you know how much searching goes on in Yu-Gi-Oh nowadays? Nowadays. So you could just search, you can search three cards, so you just play this and have three tokens. Okay. No. All players you have their life points. This is a one spell caster type monster from the deck. It's not plural, so it's just really weird. But basically what this says is you grab a Jalgen from your deck and then your opponent either like I haven't tested it out yet, but it's either like you grab a Jalgen from your deck and your opponent can't get anything from their deck. Or or you grab like the best card in your deck, if it's a spell you grab the best spellcaster in your deck, and your opponent has a chance to not grab anything from their deck at all. 
that's basically how this works. Also, the monster you grab from your deck is likely more beneficial because it's on your turn inherently. So yeah, this is a little dumb. Well, this card is the only card in your hand. Draw three cards. If you do not summon a hell monster this turn, take your thousand damage. First up, what are hell monsters? A bunch of horrible insect type monsters. <laughs> They're insects. That's what they are. So you're, pl you're playing this. You might be playing this in a hell deck, but again, hell is mainly comprised of monsters. So maybe you would play it. You probably would play it. But at the same time, it's. Draw three cards. Like, you think Eldritch gives a shit about, like, 3,000 damage? Do you think that, like, Guru and other decks like it to give a shit about 3,000 damage? Do you think a deck that just set for practically this care about 3,000 damage? I don't think so. Tokens, tokens. Add a penal monster from your hand to your extra deck base up. Draw two. Okay? I just get to fucking draw free I get to add a pendulum monster from your hand to your extra deck, pendulum summon it back later in my turn, and I also get to draw two for no reason. Okay. Oh, so I can. can both of us could get monsters controlled by their opponent as if those monsters were under their control. Okay, so I could chip at your monsters with cannon soldier. That's what this is saying. I took it your monsters for Cannon Soldier. <laughs> With Cannon Soldier. Or anything that tributes more. This is a layer, but generic. This is like a generic version of Lair of Darkness. That's what this is. This is Lair of Darkness, but incredibly generic. So, no. This card. Yes, go forget. Can you first part of this effect? Literally doesn't mean. Pay half your life points to switch this card with one card in your deck or graveyard. If you activate this effect after it resolves, add if you activate that code's effect after it resolves, add this cover your deck to your hand. After switching this card three times, this effect will become the following. Target one face up monster on the field, multiply its attack by the number of monsters by the number of monsters your opponent controls until the end phase. Okay, so I get to just add any three three cards from my deck to my hand. How about those other broken spell cards we already talked about, like Magician's Archive and things like that? Like, this, this is broken with Magician's Archive, because you will go, this, Magician's Archive, you put this back into the deck in the same spot, Magician's Archive, search something else, get the Philosopher's Soul back to use again and again. So it's like you just search six cards off of it, it's so dumb. For the rest of this turn, you can activate spell from your graveyard. If this card is sent from the deck to the graveyard by the, by the card effect, at the start of your next turn, got this card from your graveyard into the deck. Okay, so you just activate this from your hand. So basically, how this would work is like... This effect text, I think this effect text might be wrong here. Because what it says on the proxy is when it's going to set from your deck to the graveyard, by a great effect, the card gains the following effect. You can return this card for the graveyard to that deck. If you do, you can have to raise small trap cards from your graveyard this turn. That's what the proxy says. Like, that's what this proxy says. But this says something else. This implies you can just activate it. <laughs> this implies you can just fucking activate it, whatever. So, like, if this is true, this thing is fucking broken. If this is true, this thing is even more fucking broken. So, yeah, no. And I think this is going to be, like, the last one. Like, I arbitrarily decide this is it, so... Face down spell on trap cards your opponent currently controls cannot be activated. Okay, so I get to just shut down all your back rope. Just play this. Oh no, you set all those cards to play this. You can't do shit. You can't do shit about it. You can't do anything about it, I guess. So, yay. Also, this I guess invoked Elvish, which would just be pretty dumb. Anyway, that'll be it for now. As I find more cards to throw on here, trust me, this is going to be more of like a dynamic thing. Where like, I'll continue to add cards to this. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, turn on notifications, and remember to stay sharp.